All right, let's take a look at how to do this first problem here. This is a double replacement reaction between two substances. Here we have sodium carbonate, and that is going to mix with aluminum chloride. Now, when these go through a double replacement reaction, typically the first substance in one compound will mix with the second substance in another compound. And likewise, the first substance in that second compound will mix with the second substance in the first compound. So that's how this works. Now, we need to make sure that they follow the rule of zero charge. So here, I see sodium. Sodium is a positive one and it's going to mix with chlorine, which is a minus one. Now I'm gonna ignore how many sodiums and chlorines there are in these two problems, because those are specific to those compounds. There's two sodiums here because sodium is a plus one and carbonate's a minus two. But sodium is now gonna mix with chlorine, sodium being a plus one and chlorine being a minus one. I only need one of each of those, one sodium and one chlorine. Now the other substance that's gonna be made is between aluminum and carbonate. Notice that there's one aluminum here and there's one carbonate here, but that's gonna be different when aluminum and carbonate come together because aluminum has a plus three charge and carbonate has a minus two charge. So plus three, minus two, both of those charges go into six. So I need to make sure that I get a positive six from the aluminum and a negative six from the carbonate. That means that I need I need two aluminums and I need three carbonates. And that's going to be my formula there. Now I'm going to go ahead and make these subscripts just by holding down control and pushing the comma button. And I'm done with that problem. These are the two products that are made when these two substances react together. All right, good luck with the next few. Go ahead and do sodium chloride and aluminum chloride and see how they mix and so on and so forth.